Look at the distance between these two campsites. So the big problem with this campground is right here. As you can see, these campsites are on top of each other. And it's just, in my view, greed to have campsites that close together. It kind of takes away from the whole experience because the, the camp store and all the surroundings up front are actually pretty nice. But the problem is, is they've just got way too many sites in just a small, small amount of space. seem to matter where you go look at site 36 next to camp site 37 you basically have a sidewalk as your pack uh, campground and you're right next to your neighbor's sewer where you eat your breakfast pretty amazing I think they got a little greedy on how many camper sites they have at this KOA I grew up with KOA campgrounds and nobody loves KOA campgrounds more than myself. And in fact, I've traveled to KOA campgrounds throughout North America and we've done lots of videos on KOA campgrounds here with how to have fun outdoors. But today's video is not our typical video, but it is important that we do this video because we loved Branson, Missouri. We uh, definitely had a great time there with the Dolly Parton Stampede and all the great shows. Uh, definitely check out our trout fishing part one and part two in Branson. We just caught some amazing rainbow trout, brown trout. But then in addition, also check out our incredible day out on the Table Rock Lake where we caught a bunch of walleye and bass and we had a great time with Captain Rick. Um, but overall, we decided to stay at the KOA because I love KOAs, but this KOA was like no other KOA that I've ever seen in North America. I call it the worst KOA in America. Why? Well, let's start with this. The campsites are just way too close together. There is no question that they have tried to triple the amount of campsites in the same amount of space. Yes, there's a nice pool and there's some nice entryways with the flowers and uh, a good playground. But if you're going to camp, you need a little bit of space. This was just greed in my point of view from the standpoint of trying to squeeze in as many campsites as you possibly could in a small template. So take a look at this video. You may, you be the judge. And thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and thank you so much. So we're going to show you around the campground, and here you go. I also have a little picnic area, which is very nice. They do have a great basketball court. I will definitely give them that. This was our first site, and as you can see, this is your campsite here with all your power, the bathroom, and your little table. So if you wanna have a big uh, power meter next to the bathroom, I'd recommend this site. So when they say the campsites are close together, I think this is the ultimate close together that I've ever seen in 55 years. Take a look at this, folks. So that is crazy. A little more room down here by 28 and 29. Still, for the most part, your neighbor is here. You do have your sidewalk, but at least they give you a little bit of a push out. And, uh, but again, absolutely no campfire pit and uh, these things are packed in here. Another negative is all the bathrooms are coated. I don't know, I'm in Branson, Missouri, not uh, New York City, so I'm not sure why they do that, but uh, obviously they've had some type of issues in the past. You can see it's not just one campsite. There's so many campsites where there's just no space. And take a look. I mean, your picnic table for this site is actually next to them. Obviously no fire pit, 
and there's so many sites with just no space here. If you are looking for a good site, the tip of the day is I would pick anywhere up in this zone here. Those are definitely the nicest sites and have the most space. Also, the cabins are pretty nice in the back. And even up in here, the cabins are pretty good. But for the most part, all of this kind of camping is just not really camping. Like we showed in the map, the cabins are nicely spaced. They seem to have more room than the campsites. So, so in any case, this is a nice area back in the back corner. One of the coolest things they have here is the fact that you can actually rent a pontoon boat, which is pretty awesome. It's a lot of lakes and rivers here in Branson. The bathrooms are good, very clean, no issues with the bathrooms, standard KOA type quality, really good. So overall, we would give this a 2.5 Discovery Bus, one of our lowest ratings ever for a campground. And quite honestly, it would even be worse. But the fact of the matter is, is that outside of the campsites themselves, it is a very nice KOA. The store is great. The pavilion's great. The pool's great. Lots of activities for everyone. And, um, you know, they have breakfast every morning. They have the hot tub. Uh, you know, lots of activities for kids. You can rent the pontoon boat. Um, the upfront area is, is very nice. So there's nothing wrong with any of that. In fact, they have the 50 amp cable TV, snack bar, pavilions. You can accommodate a big rig, um, but you definitely should know all of their policies. They do have a lot of rules in this particular KOA, uh, but overall, if you're coming for a show or the weekend, then it may be fine and there may not be an issue. But if you're coming here for a week, you're going to want more than a sidewalk and you're not going to want to be on top of another camper. So we would recommend looking at other opportunities in Branson. And Branson is a great place to visit. We really enjoyed our time there. And overall, we still love KOAs. We still go to KOAs. But I just wish they would not let these campsites get so tight. Overall, thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. Leave your comments down below. What do you think? Are they getting the campsites too tight? Definitely subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll keep getting you these campground reviews on how to have fun outdoors. Mm -hmm.